Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Today's episode begins in Texola, right on the state line of technically in Oklahoma, crossing over into Texas, going back to Los Angeles with my friend Natalie. We are gonna do Route 66, at least the northwest portion below the Oklahoma Panhandle. You've only, you've done Route 66 in, in some fashion before, right? Just through Albuquerque and then seeing Santa Monica, but that's it. So from Santa Monica, <laughs> the church of the pier goes to Chicago and the Chicago back. We're not gonna do the whole stretch. But we're gonna do about 180 miles, I believe, to the next state line and just see what we can see. But currently, there's not, unlike what we're used to in Southern California, there's not a whole heck of a lot of commuters and traffic through here in this town runs parallel where it says I-40. So if we go that way, about a half a mile, a mile, cross under the freeway, we will connect with the one and only legendary Route 66. Route 66. I'm inviting you to join me and Natalie on Route 66. <laughs> Shall you? Shall you? Looks as if we won't be the only one going to the mother road. Check this out down here. There is a turntable the base of this cabin. I kind of, kind of waiting for Ash to walk, walk out. Is that a dust buster right there on this, this side? Oh my gosh, it is. <laughs> What's well, a turbo duster? Also noticing these ants down here, these red ants do not want to mess with those. Those are, yeah, stay clear of those things. Fields of cotton out here as well. That's quite a bit. There's the interstate right there running parallel through this portion. Yep, runs directly parallel. Oh, there it is, there's the sign. Welcome to Texas. Hello. Mm. Having a good one? All right, well, we're just passing through, checking out 66 through the state. Okay, take care. I'll see you later. Oh yeah, the U drop in. A very distinct and unique structure. Reminds me of the Pixar film Cars. They utilize this and remodel it their own version, but definitely based on this facade. As well as Cars Land at DCA. Oh man. For DCA. Inside now, it's the old diner area. Here's a retro photo there in the windowsill above one of the booths. In fact, they have quite a few different books documenting its past as well. This stuff is so great. Over here in the corner, this is the Elvis booth. Right here. Presley dined here at the U Drop Inn and sat in this booth back in the 1960s. It says that whoever noticed him in here was lifted up above the window at a young age to see the king of rock and roll sitting right here. 
They do not currently serve any food. They do have a mannequin. And if she serves you food, then you might need to run. There is a snow globe. There you go. Of the U drop. Wow. I, speaking of U dropping, I, I don't want to drop this. I should probably put it back down. I didn't mean to make that joke, but it just kind of worked out that way. I put it back down. Scared about Bypass. No. Perfect. Got it. Entering into McLean, passing this signage as well as Route 66, does it best. That's right, it is a Burma Shave ad right here on the way into town. Seem to have missed rush hour. Kind of a narrowly avoided it. Not a lot of bumper to bumper going on at the moment. Very nice. Lifts it on the ground, off the ground. On this end. I'm guessing that right there is what's holding it in place. Very similar to Cadillac Ranch, which is a few miles westward the way we're heading from here. Our other automobiles stationed into the ground. Not Cadillacs. VW Bugs. about 30, 40 miles away. The one and only Cadillac Ranch. A very popular spot if you 
paint on any of the cars here in this field. Whatever you tag will probably be painted over within a matter of hours. It's a constant stream of people showing up to paint. Even along the ground and the dirt has been painted considerably. Wow. It has rained. There are puddles around the ones at the end down there. Oh, you got we, we ended up stopping at the store and got your own. <laughs> yeah, super I feel like if you were to paint on these, they would last a little longer, however, because no one can really get over there. You see, people really are, they're not the best at throwing away the trash. They leave the can empty cans out here, which is frowned upon. There is a dumpster on the main road. But you'll notice how these are not, well, someone has painted those pink and those blue on the end. They have like, yeah, they, they must use a lot of paint to do that. But other than that, the, the words, there's not really a whole lot because you would have to wade through the puddle to get to those. What's gonna be your method? You're gonna go to the two on the end that everyone else is painting? Or are you gonna tra try to traverse I mean, I have boots, but they're definitely not boots for going in those ends. Oh dang, this guy is very daring. Very trusting on the stability, structural stability of those automobiles. This is pretty awesome. It looks, the wheel is, looks like a watermelon. Really, I guess we could put over here. Somewhere in here we're gonna have to well, some of this looks like very fresh though. We don't want to paint over what somebody already did. Maybe along here or along the wheel well on this side. Maybe up in that little, in that little area. Or if you can reach up there, you could do that. Because you're tall. I could maybe put my initials there. Yeah. Okay. Maybe over here. It's about as good as it's going to get. A T W. You want to put your name down there? Yeah. Below it? All right, cool. Have a yeah. There we go. You just never know what the weather conditions are going to be like. It's nice out, but definitely has been some rain. I've been here in the past when it was very, very cold and brisk and windy. I'm so zoomed in that every little, every little hole in the ground is making it very bumpy. Also in the general neighborhood, it's this cowboy here, almost like a muffler man. It might be a muffler man, but he's not holding a muffler. He is tipping his cowboy hat as well. It's like, it's not technically part of Cadillac Ranch, but it is adjacent. It's about a half a mile away. Oh, classic car alert. Norman? Going to the Bates Motel. Each room with the shower and taxidermy ahead. I'm gonna pass on this. I'm gonna go with my gut instinct and just, yeah, I'm just gonna move on. See ya, Norman. Made it over to Vega. There's a little gas station there. Very nice. Nice little town. You can see the water tower peeking up there over the buildings. And over here in this yard is the famed boot tree next to Dot's Mini Museum. Doesn't look to be anyone here. There's a clothes sign there on the bottom of those stairs. Get your kicks on 66. And if you're gonna do some kicking, these boots would come in handy. Howdy, partner. Some friendly folks around here. 
before heading out of this town. I was noticing here on the side. Wow, that is that's a relic. Pepsi bottle top painting. Seen some years. Heading into the town of Adrian now. Which also just so happens to be the midpoint of Route 66. Still running parallel to the 40. The halfway point of 66, right up here. They've drawn a line in the road, best I can remember. And also home of the Bent Door. Right there, see how the door is bent? Can you tell that door is bent? <laughs> oh, just a little bit. Yeah, it's a bent door. Someone really got their kicks. They got their kicks. I don't think they kicked in the door, but maybe? No, I don't think. I think it's just the design. Got the wind turbines over there in the distance as well. And a classic Coca-Cola soda machine in bottles. Love it. The Roadrunner here looming over the center point, uh, the midway point, I should say. And there is a cafe affectionately known as the Midpoint Cafe. Okay, Midpoint, that would be the correct terminology. And the line in the road is still here. The halfway point from Los Angeles to Chicago, 1,139 miles to go back to LA, which is the destination I am headed to. Southern California, the greater LA area, 1,139 miles. You're about a thousand miles from home right now. 1,139 according to that sign. It's not the halfway point of since you joined me on this journey, but it's the half, it is the halfway point of Route 66, which happens to be what we're doing today. It's very exciting. It is pretty exciting. <laughs> and really, I mean, you have to just kind of be careful that no vehicles come through here, but as of right now, you're pretty. I think you're good. Yeah, I think we're so we're gonna go that way, towards the state line, which is about 21 miles, I believe. Oh, you're you're. There you go. Okay, so on either side there. Either side. Now. Chicago and LA. <laughs> which team are you? Um, LA. Your team, LA. Yeah, me. I have to say, honestly, me too. Oh, I love Chicago, but. <laughs> Oh, here we go. They have this this little display that you can set the camera up on there, and we could stand over. Now there's a car coming. Chicago that way, 1,139. LA that way, 1,139. In moving. <laughs> That's gonna do it for today. If you're new here, please subscribe. By doing so, helps keep you in the loop and up to date on future uploads here on this channel. Take it a step further, ring that notification bell. And if you enjoyed this particular episode, give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know you care. I'll see you in the next video, the vlog. Now that's my rental there, which kind of pales in comparison to the amazingness Yeah, maybe we, maybe they'll let us borrow this for the completion of the journey back to Cal, back to California. <laughs> Very nice. Get your kicks. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is hot to trot. The vlog is. Oh, you know what? 
This car is about to head to Chicago. It's pointed in the Chicago direction. Not we're going to we're going to LA, not Chicago. Okay, let's get in the rental. The vlog is over. There are a heck of a lot of bugs on the car. Wow, look at all these flies. What the heck? Why are these on the rental? <laughs>